from your perspective is the uh, uh, the requirement to have a permit to carry that's in a sense a sort of a form of gun control itself right or here's where our biggest objection is and that's what I told Bill Haslam when we were talking about this issue when he was running for governor I said you know if you can show me some statistics from TBI law enforcement whatever that shows that the process of issuing the permits itself has a crime prevention uh, effect that we can measure and document, th then I, I'll go along with it uh, under the constitutional clause, okay? Otherwise, you have to accept the fact, which is what my experience as a trial attorney has been, is that the permits don't stop anybody from carrying a gun legally or not. What they do is on the backside, once someone is stopped, it's just evidence to an officer that they have gone through a background check and have been given a permit, but it has nothing to do with whether or not they're going to commit a crime. So the problem is the cost and the delay and the administrative expense that we're spending to issue permits that don't really have a documented crime prevention effect. So you know, you spend anywhere from 50 to 250, depending on where you go, to take the class. Then you pay 115 to get the permit. Uh, and some people just aren't gonna spend that money. We're, we're just spending a bunch of money on a, on a program that has no demonstrated crime prevention effect. And if it doesn't, if you can't, you know, they've had it for, since 94, so it's, you know, 17 years now. If the state can't demonstrate that this program is having a crime prevention effect, then I think it fails the constitutional standard and we need to get rid of it and admit that we're wasting money 